Hi everybody! Welcome to day three of Curie Malformation Awareness Month. Since I'm absolutely horrible and didn't post anything for two days, these three videos are being posted all at once. Yay! At least I'm going to post one for every day. That's at least new from last year when I posted three in six days and then didn't do anything till the end of the month. So, this video is going to be about the symptoms. Um, a lot of people ask me, what do you go through that because you have this condition? And there's a list um, and percentages, but I'm not going to read the percentages to you. Um, but I'll let you know which ones I have, which ones I don't, but these are all the possibilities. Um, headache. I've had a constant headache for the past four years since I was diagnosed. It does not go away. Dizziness, or as my mom likes to say, ditziness, but no, dizziness, um, which is something that is an issue quite often. Difficulty sleeping. I am an insomniac. I either can't fall asleep, or when I fall asleep, I wake up 47,000 times during the night. Weakness in arms and hands. I lose complete feeling sometimes in my arms, legs, hands, and feet, as well as issues with tingling in the arms and leg weakness. And sometimes it even feels like there's a fire inside of my veins. That's the kind of pain I deal with with that. Uh, neck pain, neck stiffness um, from the brain pressing on the Spinal cord tends to happen that way. Fatigue, I get, I get tired very quickly. Nausea, I don't have that issue. Thank goodness. Shortness of breath, I do have. Anytime I talk for a long period of time, walk up stairs, go on a long walk. Blurred vision happens to me on occasion. Tinnitus, I don't have that issue. Um, that's a ringing in the ear. And difficulty swallowing, I don't have that issue either, um, luckily. And then there is, these are less likely, abdominal pain, arm pain, I have the arm pain, balance problems, I've always had balance problems, so that's not new. Once again, the klutzy thing. Body weakness, I do have, chest pain on occasion, depression, that'll be a whole nother video. Facial numbness, I don't have. Hoarse voice, obviously, I don't have that issue. Uh, leg foot numbness is definitely an issue. Memory problems, I have memory issues. That'll be another video. Photophobia, I like my photo being taken, so that's definitely not an issue. And slurred speech. I have a lisp, but I don't have slurred speech. I think I do when I get really tired. But... That might not have anything to do with the condition. That might just be because I'm exhausted. And then the least likely are abnormal gag reflex, sleep apnea, blackout, earache, hypertension, and hypotension, nosebleeds. I've only had one nosebleed and nothing went to cause it, but it was very strange and it only lasted for about two minutes, so I don't think that was the case. Palpitations, which is where you're having trouble, like your heart is palpitating. Tachycardia and vomiting. I don't vomit, thank you, because that's horrible. So, um, I have a decent amount of those. Um, I'm really happy for the ones I don't have. As strange as that sounds, like, as bad as some of that stuff is that I have, like the pain in my arms and legs and the weakness, I'm actually really, really happy about the fact that I don't have stuff like vomiting and tachycardia and things like that, because that would be really not fun on top of everything else that's going on. Um, so, yeah. Those are all of the possible symptoms that you can have with Chiari malformation. There's a whole other set of symptoms you can have with stringonomelia, but that's another month. <laughs> but... I hope this brought some light onto what I deal with every day. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time and an absolutely wonderful week. This is Snow Kate signing off. I'll see you guys next time.